one important thing. If you bring your car to Porto, there's no parking normally and everything is paid. So the best way, you go to this side, this is Villa Nova de Gaia side, park. In this case, I park in here and then I had a 30 minute walk. It says residential home, park is for free. To explore the city, you don't need your car, just leave it there. We arrived to Porto and our Airbnb. Really nice, guys. I'm walking a much tree in there. Going out, we went to the train station. It is covered with 20,000 blue and white tiles. Paintings show historic scenes and events in Portugal. It's one of the oldest European centers and it was proclaimed World Heritage Site by UNESCO since 1996. And the food is pretty amazing in this place. Very important building, Porto Cathedral. It's one of the oldest surviving structures. You can see some glimpses from the inside. From this area perspective, you can see the cloisters. Cathedral was built in one of the highest points. So the square around you will afford you great views for the Douro River just below. The riverside is quite special. Looking at architecture, this presentation, so characteristic. I hope it keeps going. Yes, and you can always see the kids diving in the river. The Revella boat, traditional wooden car boat that was used for centuries to transport people and goods along the Douro River. And a lot of wine, Porto wine. And there are some street markets, they're very interesting. We cross to the other side to go in the boat ride, but in the end, we watch this a little bit. And we cross the bridge Luis the First. We are in the other side, this is Villa Nova de Gaia, it belongs to Porto, but well, you can see Porto City and the other side. And this side you can go in boat rides and taste the wines. I did lost all my tasting wine pictures, but yeah, it was nice. You can do this little tour, they'll explain you some facts about the bridges. You're gonna see six bridges and they'll explain the origin of them. And the Spanish was really getting excited with seeing someone jumping from the bridge. Uh, it didn't happen. Enjoy another perspective for the boats. I can see the Louis Bridge again when we are coming back. Uh, the winds start picking up, it was still a pleasant trip, very romantic to see these uh, surroundings. Definitely would advise for you to do these little tours, they're not expensive. And you get your Spanish friend saying, hey, okay, swearing again, I really want to see someone jumping. I love the view from the side, it's so unique, the views are amazing, but it's time to eat something, and this is the famous Francesinha. You need to taste it. It's like the ultimate sandwich. Meat and meat and a lot of sauce. The sauce is the most important. Oh, good. After this musical show, we went for a ride in a cable car. For two. <laughs> can go again. Because it's around nine years at the time. It's quite worth it. So we just need to pass the Gives you a great view to the city. That's amazing. Look, the train, the people. During the sunset, even better. Okay, from this point, you got a wonderful view for the sunset and music in this place. So it makes it a great place to spend and see the sun going down. I was thinking a better way to spend the end of the day. Just watching the train going to the city and the sun going down. Now, going back to the city to... We arrived at one of the most beautiful McDonald's. It was a, I think it was a cafe. Yes, it was a cafe. And after being sold, the owner said they had to keep the same decoration and the space. They did it. One of the most spectacular McDonald's in the world now. Another thing I love in Porto, culture. This concert was open air concert for free. I enjoy this show a lot. Another thing in Porto, the Portuguese tradition is well alive. Walking near the river at night, finishing with this lovely view. The next day, the Douro Valley visit. I just put in Google Maps. But the results... Google Maps give me the motorway direction? Yeah, quicker, but I only saw the river for a short moment. From Peso de Rega to Pinhão. Douro Valley! Woohoo! Valley! The most popular wine! Uh, I'm gonna taste all the wines. What are you talking about? There's no wine tasting. I don't drink, you don't drink. <laughs> 
Vineyard, 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 vineyard. Oh, so cool. Oops, my feet. What a nice view. In 600 meters, take the exit on the right. At the roundabout. This is the bit of road you're going to see now. And we start to see some typical landscapes. What are we looking for? Somebody killed something there. I'm going to pass by this little dam and we get to Fulgoza. Another great view to the river. Apparently there is a good hotel there. Very windy. My wife going mental. Describe what you see. It's the Dora Valley, the most beautiful ro road in the world. Okay. I spray Nelson. <laughs> I don't think it's the most Because you took the wrong road and you miss a lot of views. It's you, is it? No, no, no. It's quite all over. There ain't no. Hey, there's lots of people jumping, huh? If you're driving, have attention. The roads are very narrow, a lot of curves all the time. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sleep again. I wasn't sleeping. I was just like trying to hear it. Can, can you? No, oh, we're gonna follow them. Marvelous. Now, yeah, deep down the river in Pignon, I think. The cruise boats that live from Port Norma will come here. Don't worry, there is more boats. You can go for a tour too. So tired of ten. So I just rested. You can go and do some wine tasting, but I was driving, so not advisable. How is your experience for that? Cool. I still enjoy the view a lot. I live in Pignon. Enjoying this view. Well, I'm driving, so I cannot see. So I need to stop. We're exploring one more area. Jolie. Where's going the Malta? <laughs> barking. Forgetting about the dogs barking. This view was incredible. Ah, it's okay. It's not bad. Temperature of the water is not the warmest. What are you doing, my boy? Huh? What are you doing? Scientists say picking your nose might have health benefits, including stronger teeth. Well, it's improving our health, so. Eating. Oh, the famous train you can catch from Porto. More vineyards. Can we get two pits of the river? Oh, you can cross this by foot. So uh, now we are in Turao, an amazing place. Turao. 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 We got the walking bridge in here. Yeah, quite impressive. Parking the car was a challenge, and we're gonna try the restaurant if we can. <laughs> the food was great, and the amounts, well, I don't know how we were able to finish these dishes. In the end, we went for a walk. And on the end of the day, in the sunset, makes this view even more special. Enjoy. Way. Beautiful view from this place. This bridge is quite epic too. And like this, I had to drive back, finish the day with this lovely mm -hmm. sunset. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the, the best route in Google Maps. One of the best routes from Porto, catch the N108 in direction of Sozel, and then you'll be in the famous N22, present, end up in Peso de Regra. You can go more to Pinhão. still takes 119 kilometers and takes 2 hours and 45 minutes to do this. 